hello everybody welcome to this video training uh, today we are going to describe uh, a collision domain and a pro and a broad and a broadcast domain uh, but before we get into the subject uh, we need to know how the herb uh, switch and router work in uh, in the network First of all, I will start with the hub. So let's go to uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. I have a diagram up here with a hub, a switch, a router, uh, two switches and a router. You see this hub is connected to three PCs on the left side. I have a switch in the middle that is connected to three PCs. I have a router that connects those two uh, switches and uh, on the right side I have a, a, a single PC that, that are connected to the switch on the right side. So the hub is a lay one device. I mean the hub just transmit the data received from one of its port to all other port. So if two devices connected to a hub try to send data at the same time there will be a collision. And in order to uh, show you that on this uh, uh, scenario up here. I'm gonna you see I already do the configuration for the IP address for the PCs up here so I have a network on the on the right on the left side that's gonna be the 192.168.1.0 uh, network uh, with the 24 bit and on the right side up here I have a 192.168.2.0 with a 24 bit uh, 7 mask 2 so uh, what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna go to simulation mode okay I'm gonna uh, go to the PC up here to PC I'm gonna send a ping from PC 0 to PC 2 and I'm gonna send a ping from PC 1 to PC 2 at the same time so you're gonna see uh, maybe it's gonna be your first time you're gonna see uh, how uh, the collision occur uh, with uh, two, vi two devices on a, on a hub uh, tr uh, sending uh, sending uh, a ping at the same time I'm gonna send a ping I'm gonna do ping the P, uh, IP address for PC2 is 192 192.168.1.102 I'm gonna send the ping you see the ping is going I'm gonna go to uh, PC1 I'm gonna go to PC1 I'm gonna send a ping to uh, P, from PC1 to PC2 I'm gonna do ping 192 that 168 that one that 102 okay and you see up here right now I have those two ping uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna send those two uh, uh, ping at the same time so you're gonna see and you see <laughs> there is a collision up here and if you go back up here in this uh, simulation panel you're gonna see from here on PC2 I mean from the connect uh, the connection between the hub you see hub 0 to PC2 if you click up here we're gonna see the detail it say up here this is the 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 interface for the PC fast internet 0 it say fast internet 0 receive the frame but it say the port receive a collided frame the device the device drop the frame drops the frame just like you see up here so uh, that's how you can uh, simulate a collision, a collision in uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. So I hope you guys understand this process. So uh, let me stop the simulation up here. So now uh, let's go and talk about the switch. Uh, the switch, uh, we know the switch use the MAC address to find the destination device. So data sent from one device uh, will go directly to the intended uh, target there is no possibility for a collision in, a, in the switch because uh, the switch uh, uh, forward the frame ba based on the MAC address so what I mean about that is in, o in, o in order to show you that I'm gonna try to send a ping uh, I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna try to send a ping from PC3 uh, uh, to PC5 uh, PC, uh, and from PC4 to PC5 at the same time and you see we will not uh, have a collision because each port on the switch I can say uh, represent a collision domain so let me try to go to, go to simulation I'm gonna 
try to do the same thing I'm gonna go up here from the command prompt I'm gonna send a ping from PC3 to PC5 uh, I'm gonna do ping 192.168.1.105 and I'm gonna go to PC4 do the same thing I'm gonna do ping I'm gonna do a ping a ping 192.168.1.105 okay and you see now I'm gonna send both uh, pings at the same time and you see you see there is no collision there is no collision the reason why I told you the switch is very smart to know how to uh, uh, send the mac uh, the send the frame based on the mac address that's the reason why there is no collision on the switch and uh, uh, we can conclude to say that uh, each port on a switch represent a collision domain but the hub uh, in uh, uh, the hub i i can say the older devices that are connected to a hub repres represent one collision domain so uh, the final devices we're going to study is the the router the router the role of the router is to forward packet between networks so each router interface represents a network so you cannot have two router two router interfaces belonging to the same network so router do not forward broadcast as you see up here uh, uh, we have two networks so if one device uh, let's say on this uh, on the network send a broadcast uh, a message that broadcast will travel uh, on the on this network but will not go to the network on the right side so in order to show you that I'm gonna go to simulation mode and I'm gonna try to send up here a broadcast ping so I'm from from PC3 I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do ping and the broadcast address for the for the ping is gonna be 192.168.1.255 that's the broadcast address so uh, let's see so let's send this uh, broadcast messages you see this broadcast is gonna fly on the it's gonna go to all these devices on the network but I told you the router didn't uh, forward the broadcast on the left uh, uh, didn't uh, I, I can uh, I say the, the broadcast has traveled to all div the devices on the left side but it didn't go to the to those uh, devices on the on the right side so that's why I told you router do not forward broadcast so you can re uh, conclude with that that the router each interface on the router represent a broadcast domain but uh, the switch in general I, I can say the older devices on the switch that are connected to, to the switch uh, are on uh, on the same broadcast domain but for the router each interface on the router represent a broadcast domain so that, that's how you have how you can understand this uh, concept of uh, broadcast domain and collision domain